Good morning, St. Columbus. Welcome to Daily Bread. Been thinking a lot about art the last uh, few days, how it is art that is saving our bacon <laughs> during this time of social distancing and quarantine, um, whether that be um, uh, low art like crayons and um, markers or high art like art house films um, that so much of our day is spent reflecting these different ways of uh, expressing our lives and the world we live in. Would love to hear uh, some of the art that's gotten you through, uh, whether that be um, uh, great uh, reruns on television or um, a film that you've come across. One of my favorite films is Terrence Melnick's 2011 um, film called The Tree of Life. The Tree of Life begins uh, with this um, quote from one of the characters that there are two ways uh, to live in the world. One is by nature and one is by grace. The idea, I think, behind this is that uh, nature, or what uh, Simone Weil calls uh, gravity and grace, gravity or nature are those kind of base instincts, our survival instinct um, to protect our food or to protect our house or protect our land um, from the invading intruders uh, to kind of create an us versus them um, a mentality, but also um, to be punitive and to um, respond to uh, uh, correction through shame. Um, and, uh, and then the other way uh, through life, uh, so there's gravity, which is kind of like this nature that's pulling us down into our base instinct. And then um, there's the way of uh, grace. And the way of grace is uh, to respond um, the opposite. <laughs> Instead of to defending our food and to defending our castle, that um, we are generous with our things, even when we're not quite sure whether that uh, generosity is something that we can afford, um, that we see our neighbors not as the invading uh, enemies, but as someone that we may learn from and that may add positively to our community. So this movie, uh, which has a very kind of philosophical premise, is just this wild um, uh, narrative that deals with tragedy and loss, but there's also like dinosaurs <laughs> in the film. And uh, there are several moments where it's just unclear what exactly uh, is going on. So just wanted to reflect uh, one of uh, my favorite uh, films, something that I've watched several times uh, this last uh, few weeks as a form of calming, um, even of uh, a, a contemplative action. So please uh, let me know uh, what uh, forms of art and movies um, or literature that you've encountered and uh, share that with us. Hope you all are well and to see you soon. Bye-bye.